not look like a house where the whole history of 19th century music was changed forever, but it is. Of course, what was peculiar to Beethoven became ultimately the new standard for romantic music. Let's go visit Goethe. Today you can sit on a train and inside of 40 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, you can go from one culturally significant spot to another. Is this actually the room where Mendelssohn composed? Yes. Three major institutions have supported art throughout Western culture. Churches, courts, and theaters. But I think he'd be pleased if he saw that pocket turned out because it acknowledges to everyone the fact that Bach was never very well paid. How can that happen? Yeah, how can that happen? <laughs> yeah, they she find a body. She's the river, she's got a book in her, in her pocket, and that starts apart. <laughs> the old moon laughed and sang a song as they rocked in the wooden shoe and the wind that sped them all night long ruffled the waves of dew. Uh, so I won't take any more time for this and introduce Carol Reynolds, who will take you through the man behind the music in today's session. Please welcome her. Thank you and good evening. Let's to clean up. Go back to the real world here. to the first of these actions 300 years ago. If you look Look at the word carnival. Carne, meat. Vale, farewell. Goodbye meat, goodbye milk and eggs, goodbye self-indulgence. Hello, Lent. But the beat that you give should give a feeling of the sound and the density and the dynamic and the phrasing. And it is used in cultures around the world, including American music. Do you know this hymn tune? set of pitches. Remember, too, that our early settlers brought different ideas about church music to these shores. Many of them came with traditions that required extremely simple church music with no accompanying instruments. This is a uniquely American tradition, and there would have been a point in our history when the average person would have known these tunes, is that right? Exactly. They, I believe that they all belong to everyone. The thing a 
about a wonderful song is that the words and the music join together and they make a third kind of product. And once you've heard them together, you can hardly separate them out. History proclaims itself quietly at times. And I think in a nutshell, that's how we could explain what the romantic is. A rediscovery that there are certain things that will never be able to be explained, but that we do experience. We've got one hand reaching out over here to the people in the past, and we've got another hand right there to the people in the future. And that's where we stand, holding hands with those people. He couldn't have been more supportive. This did not come out of a box. <laughs> and uh, you set a new standard, you raised the bar. And, uh, <laughs> 